regardless if you're a solo hell diver or you're with a team, there's going to come a time where you're going to be by yourself. And we need to know one important thing. What are the best stratagems for solo players to defend democracy? Well, today we're going to break down each and every one of them based on the way you actually level up so you guys can know what to pick up and why they're actually the best. We're going to get started with the first one, which is the supply pack. Now, the supply pack is very interesting because at the beginning, I didn't realize that you were actually able to use the supply pack but you are able to use the supply pack as a solo player. I first thought that you were only able to use it if you were playing with a team, but you were actually able to use the supply pack as a solo player as well. The great thing about this is that it's going to tie in perfectly with my second stratagem that I'm going to recommend, and that is, guys, the grenade launcher. Now, the grenade launcher will unlock at level 5, and the great thing with combining the supply pack and combining the grenade launcher is the fact that the supply pack is going to allow you to pretty much immediately regenerate everything back. It's going to give you your grenades back for your grenade launcher. And guys, the grenade launcher is extremely OP. Like, it's it's really, really good. It's going to let you get your ammo back. And the great thing about this is that it's going to help you deal with big groups. Plus, when you're doing those nest missions where you got a close to nest, you can, the grenade launcher is going to come in handy. Or when you're trying to just, you know, dissipate a large amount of horde, you'll be able to, you know, deal with these really effectively without having a thing in the back of the head is like i'm running out of ammo i'm running out of grenades and whether it's a big task or a simple task if you combine these two stratagems together it's going to make your early gameplay very fun and very dynamic now let's move on to the next one now this next one i'm going to mention i think it's the king of all kings when it comes to stratagems for solo players and that is the shield backpack guys the shield backpack is going to be your best friend not only is it good for solo players but it's amazing when you're playing with a team as well because this is going to be a lifesaver it has so much advantages that a lot of people don't realize that it actually does number one the first advantage is, is that it's going to serve as a second health bar so you see that health bar that you have the shield is pretty much an additional health bar on top of that think of it like a shield is basically what it is in addition to that guys it's able to fend off melees and it's able to fend off any attacks that you might have. The great thing about this is that since it acts like a second health bar, it will automatically recharge after six seconds after it's already been broken. Now, one thing I do want to let you guys know is do keep in mind that after it gets broken, it doesn't automatically come fully charged. It's going to kick in and recharge over time. So you do got to remember that, but you'll still be it will be able to take a blow even though it's barely charging back. It's not going to take the major amount of damage like it usually does like when it's fully restored, but you'll still be able to absorb once it kicks back in. It's going to provide you resistance against environment assets and stagger effects, which is the one of the things that makes it really awesome because one of the things that you realize when you're playing Helldivers is, is you're going to be getting knocked around a lot and this is going to stop that from happening. And if you're tired of being slowed, this is going to be very helpful for that as well because it's going to save you some time from being slowed as well. Now, one thing to note is that this has a limited HP pool and no damage bleed through, which is extremely important that you understand. Basically, what this means is that you can take any amount of damage in one strike as long as it has even one HP left. You can literally stand next to an exploding 500 kg bomb, take a laser cannon to the face, get hit by a friendly auto cannon, and not take even a single lick of damage. Now, the only thing it can't fend off is the hell bombs. It, it's gonna, it's gonna pretty much kill you due to the fact that I think it has two ticks when it actually explodes. So the first one breaks the shield, and the other one ends up killing you regardless. So this is by far, to me, the number one thing that you need to have in your arsenal that I highly recommend. Now, I'm also going to provide you guys with a bonus tip a little bit after this one, but the next one, guys, is gonna be your best friend, and that, my friends, is the rail gun. The Railgun is extremely, extremely OP, especially for solo players out there. You're going to be able to be doing a lot of damage. Now, one thing I want to let, remind you guys is remember, you're actually able to charge up the shot for the Railgun. If you actually have a charge up shot, you're going to be able to do even more damage if it's not charged up. 
But one thing I want to give you as a warning is remember, if you fully charge it up, you could kill yourself. So you're going to want to make sure you know how to navigate that firing. Now, to change the firing mode, make sure you hold down the reload button. And this will allow you to change the firing mode for the railgun to make sure that the railgun is set to unsafe mode so you could deal extra damage when you're actually shooting them. Now, one thing to note, guys, the railgun comes with 10 bullets. Now, with these 10 bullets, if you guys overcharge it, you can literally do two overshot shots to the mouth to drop a bale titan. So theoretically, you could actually kill 10 titans with a full clip of ammo. Now, the great thing I like about the railgun is that it kills every single automaton enemy besides the tank with one single shot to the head. Now, some of them do require overcharge, but all of them only require one single shot. I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to definitely fall in love with the railgun it's going to be your best friend as long as you're shooting it correctly as long as you're using the overcharge as long as you're shooting the bugs in the feet to make sure you get those nice crit shots you are going to be golden with this weapon even if you don't get those crits it's still going to be pretty pretty powerful even just shooting them straight in the armor it's going to take a little bit more shots but you don't even have to have that perfect aim to do a lot of damage with this gun i remember when i said i was going to give you guys an extra tip guys make sure you pay attention to light armor light armor is going to be extremely important for you guys in this game because you're going to get a nice stamina buff so make sure you guys look out for some light armor to help your play in hell drivers if you guys want to see more hell divers content here on the channel like builds like best strategies for solo players the best way you can let me know is by hitting that like button and sharing this video with your friends and show us a little bit of love and support by subscribing thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one